Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Um, thank you so much for being here, for joining me tonight. I want to discuss a few things that's been going on um, these past few days. And I also want to continue to expose um, Dennis Byron's uh, inappropriate behavior um, as a 50-year-old man. I believe he's around in, in his 50s, something like that. So as you guys know, um, I interview, and, and forgive me if I'm, you know, I don't know, my energy is low right now. I had just took um, the booster shot. So I don't know, I had some weird ass like side effects, like real talk. Um, let me just get into that really quick. Like I just, I think it was for like a day. Like I could not smell anything. My tongue felt like weird and I couldn't, I couldn't like feel hot or cold, like sensation. Like if I drink something hot, I couldn't really feel it on my tongue. It was kind of like my tongue was numb or something. So I think that was a, definitely a side effect of that booster. Um, and like my nose and everything was just running. Like my allergies was just messed up for a few days. Okay, so if you guys want to know more details about that, I'm going to have my experience with these vac vaccine shots um, on my Patreon if you want to um, hear more about that, okay? But that's why my energy is just a little low. I'm, I'm barely feeling good enough to um, come on live. So I wanted to discuss this um, really quick. All right, so as you guys saw, I had interviewed the YouTuber named Jovi's Jovi Beauty School, and she came on the platform and she said her, her experiences with Dennis Byron. Okay, as many of you guys know, Dennis Byron is a so called reporter. Um, he has worked with several media outlets, um, nothing really stable. He has his own um hip hop inquirer, I guess, is a I don't know what it is, media outlet, gossip. All I know is, it is about celebrities. He's like obsessed with celebrities. And um, I believe he's he wants clout. I believe he wants clout after me doing my research. But anyway, Mr. Byron has, um, first of all, he commented on one of the videos, the very first video I uh, did exposing you guys to the story of him and Jovi. Before I brought Jovi to the show, I told you guys, wow, like, you know, she did a video. She's basically saying that he's allegedly trying to dox her that and she's in New York, too. And she's like, yeah, he's, you know, uh, basically obsessed with Cardi. Cardi allegedly helps him get the TMZ position um, and all this other stuff. And he allegedly doxed her and and this and that. So. I got her on the show. She broke it down. She clarified a few things. She told her story. And um, then I went ahead and broke that interview up into three parts. Well, the very first video I did sharing you sharing the beef with you guys, Dennis commented under it, um, trying to intimidate me, trying to basically threaten me to go to court for using his images in my thumbnails. But he uses Tasha K's images. He uses everybody else's images. Okay, this is called fair use. So he wants to find every little petty thing. And now he's trying to pick on me because I'm exposing him. And so um, he had commented and said, oh, something like, oh, you know, Hip Hop Inquirer is a trademark name. And that picture you have on your thumbnail is, is trademark and this and that. I'm putting you on notice. I'm putting you on call and this and that. I, I took pictures of all the pictures you took of me and this. And I'm like, what the hell are you talking about? What are you talking about? So um, I believe that what Jovi said is true. Now, now I'm starting to believe what Jovi said about him. You know, I already believed her, but now it's it's making sense now. Because she went through the same thing a few years ago where she reported something on Dennis Byron. And he's a reporter who don't want to be reported on. You cannot not be reported on. I'm sorry. Get off the Internet if you do not want to be reported on. 
If you do not want to be exposed, you should just stop with the inappropriate behavior. Intimidating me is not going to stop me. People have doxxed me. People have called my family members. People have threatened me. All type of stuff. I'm still here. I'm not going anywhere. What don't y'all understand? I'm not going nowhere. Get over it. I'm going to expose until the fucking day I die. Okay, so you're going to have to take me out for me to stop. Do you feel me? This is my purpose. This is my calling. This is what the hell I'm here to do. So anyway, let me calm down. Um, so he went first. He left the comment. You know, this could, could be this could be considered harassment. You know, a lot of women have accused him of harassing them, of cyber stalking them. And now he's doing the same thing to me. So he left a comment under my um, under one of my videos. Then not only that, yesterday, I believe it was yesterday, he went to Twitter to post a picture of me and Jovi. And he is now putting out the false narrative that I'm working with Tasha K and it's an organized crime. You sound mad paranoid. You sound mad paranoid. You need to do something with yourself. Okay. You on this internet too much for a professional journalist and, and you too much in your feelings to be up on here, period. None of your trolls, none of your supporters, nobody can scare me from doing what the hell I does. Big facts. And I, I want to see somebody stop me. That's what I'm waiting for. I'm waiting for one of y'all to stop me. You ain't stopped me yet. So nothing you do works, period, point blank. Nothing you do works. Okay, so then he he tweeted that, and then he tweeted something else that said, um, and this is not verbatim, he said something like, um, do anybody know any server, proce uh, server processors in Nevada? Oh, something, something pertaining to my video. And I'm like, dude, you, you not scaring nobody. You not scaring me. It's going to take a whole lot more to scare me, buddy. You don't scare me. Period. I don't know what you get out of intimidating women, stalking women, following women, doxing women, allegedly, but I'm not the one I'm not new to this. I'm true to this. Cause I seen some comments saying, oh, she new to YouTube. No, this is my second channel, baby. I got four channels that I manage and operate. Three are monetized. This is my second channel. Where are your channels at? So I want to show you guys those tweets. And then I want to get into Mr. Byron being on Judge Judy some years ago. So this is telling me that he, he wants clout. He wants clout. You don't want to be talked about, but you're here on live TV on Judge Judy and you can't pay your rent. So that's what the tenants took him to court because he could not pay his rent. Now, I, I want to hear because a lot of people are saying, oh, he's been working for TMZ for how many years? Why did he have to file for bankruptcy then if he was getting all this TMZ money? Why couldn't he pay his rent if he was so good and getting all this TMZ money? Please make it make sense. He just filed bankruptcy in Georgia in 2011. So if he's getting all this money from TMZ and, and all these news outlets and media outlets, why the hell did he have to file bankruptcy? That was dismissed because he couldn't even stick to the payment plan of the bankruptcy agreement. This is what he don't want out there. He don't want his truth, his stuff out there. But eventually everybody's stuff gets out there. Yeah, everybody's stuff get out there. If you don't, especially if it's public information. So I'm going to show those tweets and then I'm going to show, um, I'm going to only play the audio to the Judge Judy clip where Dennis Byron is on Judge Judy looking for clout. So you, you can't say, stop doing this and stop talking about me. You're going on live TV. You want to be seen. You want to be a celebrity. You want to be a celebrity, in my opinion. From my research, from my thorough research, from what I've seen you do, from, from what I've seen 
go on on this social media, on YouTube and all that. Oh yeah, you want clout. And that's why you were so on Cardi B ass. You just licking her ass, licking her ass. Anything to get in the spotlight, anything to be number one, anything to be the top reporter, the lead attorney. You see, that's what these guys do. They they grow off the backs of black women to get to where they're going. You need a black woman. You need a woman, period, to get to where you're going. You can't make it without no damn woman. Half of y'all want to be women. You can't make it without us. That was what that was about. That whole Tasha Kane Cardi B thing. You lopsided reporting. You biased and you reporting on Tasha K, this, Tasha K, that, Tasha K. You ain't said shit about Cardi B. So I guess she don't got no part in this either. I guess it's just one-sided. You see, everybody plays a part, plays a role in the, the outcome. Everybody plays a role in their own bullshit. So for him to not report fairly, but for it to be lopsided, because what I think is that these men in the manosphere, these sweet men, the lead attorney and all these sweet men, they're plotting against Tasha because they want to be on top. They want to be Tasha. It's, it's more men that envy Tasha than women. It's more gay men that envy Tasha than women. It's more heterosexual men that envy Tasha more than women. You see, the haters are coming from the men. The men, they're the new women. You sit up here gossiping. You sit up here arguing. You sit up here talking about women. Oh, these 2022 men are different. They're different, baby. It don't matter if they 50, 40, 30. It don't matter. These men are different. Somebody put an extra sugar on top of them. Extra sweet on top extra sweetness on top you arguing with women all goddamn day you sitting here calling women names talking about tasha 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 god damn i'm so tired of hearing about tasha especially from men y'all ain't got nothing better to do but to ride like a goddamn stallion on the backs of black women so you could get to the top Look at all these YouTubers. They have to ride on the back of a woman to get on top. And it's typically a black woman. Period. So let me get into the video. Let me get into the video because I'm, I'm trying to stay on point. I'm trying to stay calm. Okay. I'm trying to, I'm trying to stay calm. Let me get to the video. Um, I'm, I'm going to also show you the tweets. I'm trying to see what I'm going to show first. Okay, it's it's a lot that I want to discuss. Okay, we we're gonna be here for a minute. We're gonna be here for a cool minute. Okay, hopefully not too long, but we're gonna be here for a minute because I want to show y'all some some things. Okay, so give me a second. Let me go ahead and pull up a few things here. So not only did he tweet um my face and also Jovi's face from one of the videos. But he had got all of his followers to attack us. People coming to my page, leaving crazy comments in the comment section. People leaving my family members' names. Talk about, do they know you got only fans? Bitch, I am a grown-ass woman. I'm a grown-ass woman. Ain't nothing you can do or say. You could, you could mention all everybody's name in my goddamn family, bitch. We don't know you. You ain't scaring nobody. You ain't putting no fear in nobody, bitch. I don't know you. And I'm going to continue to do what I do while you're regularly asked to continue to watch what I do, bitch. Big facts. Stay in your place and stay in your lane. That's what you do. So let me go ahead and um, find these uh, receipts really quick. Give me a second, you guys, for I go all the way left. Okay. You messing with the right one now. You messing with the right one. Okay. Let me share the screen. And more people will watch this later. I'm not tripping off that. This is getting out. This is getting out there. You're the bully, sir. You're the bully. 
You're 50 years old acting a damn fool online. You're the bully, sir. So this is what Mr. Dennis Byron put on his Twitter. See, this is how uh, defamation and slander get spread around. Just because you got issues with this woman from years back, you got issue with anybody you perceive to be a Tasha K fan. Anyone you perceive to be a Tasha K fan, suddenly they your enemy. Everybody know. Every freaking body know. Let me get a little closer. Everybody know on this channel, I don't rock with Tasha K. Do I hate her? No, I don't. Do I hate on her? No, I don't. If it's something that I see that I feel is inappropriate or I don't like or I want to comment on it, I will comment on it. I will comment on whatever the hell I want to comment on. Period. So just because I'm reporting both sides of the news, we know you ain't used to that, Dennis. We know you're not used to that. But just because I'm reporting fairly on both sides, you want to have an issue and want to post our pictures for Twitter. I didn't post your picture anywhere, okay? But in fair use, on a thumbnail, on a video, and you are now starting the cyberbullying by plastering our faces, us two black women, on your profile and letting all your followers attack us. I'm going to continue exposing you. Continue to do what you do, and I'm going to continue exposing you because you're not the Mr. Nice Guy that you, you portray yourself to be. You're not that. It's definitely something weird with you. It's definitely something off with you. It's something ain't all the way there. I don't really, I think he's a family man like that, to be real. And that's where the alleged child support that he owes came from that Jovi was reporting. I know that he was once married. I don't know if he's still married. I know that he has children. Some are grown. Maybe even my age. But he's sitting up here on Twitter, on Twitter, Twitter fingers, 50-year-old with Twitter fingers. And you sitting up here bullying women. Bullying black women for telling their experiences, for saying our opinion, because you want all the news to be good about you, just like every goddamn body else. It doesn't work that way. This woman, Jovi, had an experience with you. By you reacting to her video on your Twitter, that solidified the fact that you have an issue with this woman. Since I brought her on my platform, now you want to have an issue with me. Well, I'm here for all the smoke. I'm the queen of beef, baby. We could smoke this thing out all, all goddamn night. Try tip, baby. Put some goddamn baby back ribs on that hoe. I'm all about the beef, bitch. Ask about me. I don't run down. I don't back down from nothing. I talk. This is this channel is called Charisma Speaks, bitch. Now, and I wasn't trying to get disrespectful or cursing, but this has really irritated me because he's not stopping. And now I see that I'm going to have to nip this in the bud. So that's why I'm doing this video. So I'm going to read what he put. Let's put this tweet back on here. Welcome, everybody who's just joining. This video wasn't really planned. I just came up here. So you are lucky. Um, if you want more exclusive content, make sure you subscribe to my Patreon. I could talk more on there, okay? Um, and also, shout out to everybody who has sent me cash apps, who has supported me. You guys do not go unnoticed. I appreciate every one of you. Now, this is what he said. Organized crime. And again, this is Dennis Byron's tweet, I believe, what, February 5th, okay? That was yesterday. Organized crime. Here is the proof that bl that blogger lady is paying this former gang member to defame a member of the press. Clearly, Tasha K didn't like my reporting. At this point, she's spending Cardi's money. So you got mad because you saw that Tasha K had gave Jovi Beauty a $499.99. $499.99 super chat. And that pissed you off. And so then he says, here's the proof that the blogger lady is paying this former gang member to defame a member of the press. 
And and what's Cardi doing for you? What's Cardi doing for you? What is she doing for you? Because you don't have proof that Tasha is paying Jovi to, to do anything. This is your conspiracy theory, sir. And you're making it worse. You're making their you're making a machine exist. You're making what Tasha K said exist. Because now I'm starting to think you are the machine. You're part of the machine. You're part of putting the media out there to give people a certain perspective. You are part of the machine. And that is cyberbullying, sir. You work for TMZ allegedly. Why is my face on your profile? Why, why is Jovi's face on your profile? Why are you attacking black women, sir? You supposed to be this high profile gentleman reporter, top notch reporter from Atlanta who cool with Cardi and hate Tasha and all this shit. Why is my face plastered on your 16,000 followers on Twitter? Thanks for the free promo, baby. That's all I take it. I can take any press, baby, especially 16K. Touche. I don't mind. I don't mind it. Keep posting me. Keep posting me. But I'm definitely going to call you out each time. You ain't scaring me, sir. Ask about me. Now. Let me pull up one more tweet, and I promise I'm going to get into this Judge Judy thing, okay? Let me pull up one more tweet. Let me put up one, one more tweet to prove my point that he's trying to intimidate me because I am reporting on him. Okay, there he goes. He says, any good uh, process servers in the Nevada area? Okay, so now you calling out where I am, right? So you're trying to intimidate me. You're trying to do this sublimin subliminally. My followers, everybody who rock with me know I'm in Nevada. Um, and you got all this reporting techniques. Shouldn't you know how to do your research and find out? Yeah. Serve me, baby. Serve me. I'm going to document every step of the way. Serve me. I want you to. I want you to. So he's getting mad mad at my videos any good process service in Nevada area the machine has some work for you send private message bounty hunter laugh now and cry later no I'm going to keep laughing I'm going to keep laughing because of how silly you will look coming after me oh 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 judge oh your honor she, she put my picture on the thumbnail What did she do, Mr. Byron? She put she put my she put my photo, my, my trademark photo, my, my she put my, my photo on the she put it on the on the on the YouTube. Sir, get your fuck, get the fuck out of here, sir. <laughs> get your get get your ass out of here, sir. What what the hell are you talking about? Oh Lord. Yeah. He's in, yes, he's attempting to intimidate me. Let's put that back on the screen. Any good process servers in the Nevada area, the machine has some work for you. Send private message. So, so what are you, what you going to do? What, what you going to do? <laughs> so he's trying to now intimidate me for having Jovi Beauty on my platform because he don't like black women, allegedly. He don't. He, he got this preference. Like they all do, right? He got a preference. He got a damn preference. <laughs> so, this is to all those people who said he's been working for TMZ even before Cardi B. I don't see that on his resume. Um, I don't. And those type of jobs, it's not like a steady job. It's okay. We need, I'll pay you for this story. I'll pay you for this article. I'll pay you for your photos. I'll pay you for this. He's trying to get his footage somewhere. Okay. So he is part of the machine. So now we have to 
talk as if a machine exists because he's now mentioning it and he said the machine has some work for you. So you are the machine. You help create a narrative about certain individuals. So you're abusing your power as a so-called journalist, a so-called journalist with integrity. I, I don't think you have integrity. I don't think a professional journalist would sit up here on Twitter calling out two black women who don't even um, pose a threat to you. You just trying to control somebody. I'm not your daughter. I'm not your wife. You can't control me. You can't. I'm going to speak my mind and I'm going to keep on talking. So go ahead and try to intimidate me all you want to, sir. I'll be waiting for your correspondence. And you better believe I'll be recording and documenting every step of the way. Just like you did with the Cardi B and Tasha K case, baby. Now, let's get into the Judge Judy ripping your ass apart. Let's get into that because I love me some Judge Judy. So, um, me and Jovi had a conversation. Someone in the chat during that interview said, oh, uh, Dennis Byron was on Judge Judy. I'm like, what? He was on Judge Judy. I love Judge Judy because she's straightforward. No sugarcoat. That's my type of style. Get to the point. Don't sugarcoat nothing. I don't want to hear you talking them lies. That's what Judge Judy told that ass. So let me show you guys really quick. Okay, here's a photo. I'm going to only do the audio, okay, because of copyright reasons. So this is fair use, and I'm going to play the audio for you now. Yeah, th this is your man's. This is your man's, Dennis Byron. Couldn't pay his rent. He was on Judge Judy, which is a show that's worldwide and known. So he cannot say, oh, don't use my image. You was on a whole live TV show. You chose to go on that show. You chose to be an actor. Okay. So let me go ahead and play the audio for you guys. I'm going to remove myself from the screen so that you can hear better. Okay, so you can listen a little more closely. So let me go ahead and get this started for y'all. Give me one second, you guys. And let me know if you can hear it as well. And if you can't, let me know. But I'm, I'm about to play it right now. Let me make sure the volume's good for y'all. Give me a sec. Give me a sec. Shout out to Coat Gang. Shout out to all my supporters. Appreciate you guys. Still receipts. Okay. Judge Judy, Tahira Bellot, and Alilia Monroe are suing their former tenant, Dennis Byron, for rent and bills, a lease breaking fee, and harassment. Order. All rise. Uh, no, I did. That was the Second. month I was late. That, that Second. Was the, that was the month I was late. Third. Fourth. Fifth. When did you pay her mother? I paid her mother. In October, I was so late. A, I don't have the dates, the but date. I don't have the dates, but they were it was paid in full. Listen, that's why you're here, sir. You're here because she says you owe her rent. Now, so far we've accounted for everything except $183 in June. You skidded on five days in May. Now we're on October. That, that is now, Ms. Cal now we're on October. I want you to tell me when you pay for November as well. I what? pay all the fees. Delayed fee for November. November. I pay so everything. That's, no, that's no, that's not true. I don't, pay don't speak to her. Judge Judy. <laughs> in a moment. Where are you currently living, Mr. Byron? Uh, at an undisclosed location. I don't live there. You don't live in an undisclosed location. You're in court. You choose not to disclose it to me. I don't the want to put it on camera. dismissed. That's over. Oh God, what was that, y'all? So. Welcome everybody who's just joining. Um, so the reason I'm doing this video is because if you're just joining, um, the reporter, so-called reporter, Dennis Byron, um, who has been covering the whole Tasha K and Cardi B um, trial, he is now trying to intimidate me, um, trying to threaten me. Loki is starting to become harassment. I'm not going to take it there yet. We're going to see what else he does. Um, but he had put my face 
on his Twitter account and he has 16 over 16,000 um, followers because I had interviewed Jovi and she told her experience. He also commented under one of my videos and he wrote another post talking about um, are there process servers in Nevada? Like I'm supposed to be scared. He know that I'm in the state of Nevada when most of my supporters know that already. Um, so he's trying to use all these intimidation tactics to get me to not speak on this. And the more he does that, the more I want to report on him because I feel like this is his dark side that he's trying to hide from the public. And he wanted to make it seem like he was just this reporter who was unbiased, but come on. We know that reporters are supposed to be unbiased. You're not supposed to have favor to any parties that you're reporting on. He had so much favor to Cardi B. The, the whole reporting was so lopsided. Um, it doesn't matter about anything else. He wanted clout for this, in my opinion. He wanted to be on TMZ. Allegedly, Cardi got him to where he wanted to go. But he's sitting here pointing out everybody else, pointing out Tasha, pointing out Jovi, pointing out the fact that Tasha gave Jovi the $4.99.99 super chat. It's like, why are you sitting up here watching our videos? You know what I mean? Um, so I, I think that he's definitely clout chasing and he's trying to use these tactics to silence us. Now I'm a part of this, so I'm going to continue to, to expose him. Whatever I find, I will expose him. Um, and anything else he does to try to, you know, scare me or intimidate me. He so far, he only has done this to women. I haven't seen any reports of him stalking men or harassing men. He has a specific target, it seems like, and it's women. And it's it's starting to be black women. I'm starting to see black women. Um, besides these two um, ladies here who had to sue him, unfortunately, for because he didn't pay his rent. They also sued him for harassment. That was a part of the lawsuit as well. So you mean to tell me that everybody is lying about Dennis Byron? Everybody is lying that of his alleged weirdo ways of him going too far. So I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to continue to expose any type of threats, harassment, anything else that he does to try to intimidate me or silence me. I don't care if I have to. I will contact TMZ my goddamn self if I have to. We can take it there. OK, do not start trying to intimidate me because I don't scare easily. Y'all don't know me. I'm not going nowhere. I don't care what you say. I don't care what you do. I don't I don't give two F's about what y'all do. I'm, I'm still going to be here like I am. And nobody going to stop me. So. Anyway, um. With this, he didn't want to disclose his location. You see, you want to put out everybody else's location. Oh, Nevada and and and, and where Jovi at and, and where Tasha at and where Star Marie at. But you scared to put out your own location. You, you were scared to put out your own location to, uh, on Judge Judy. And she said, if you don't, what, what do you mean you in court? Mr. Oh, I know all the court. I, I've been invited to so many courtrooms. Why you didn't expose your own courtroom session? In a courtroom with Dennis Byron. You were on the stand too. Your stuff got dismissed too. So anyway, he he didn't. I'm not going to play the rest of the clip, but just to finish the clip off, um, he did not disclose his location. He tried to keep that private. And Judge Judy was like, if you don't disclose your location, this your counterclaim is dismissed. He's like, oh, I'm not disclosing it. Guess what? It was dismissed. So he didn't win nothing off this. And pretty much, like I said, they were suing him for back rent and harassment. So it's, it, it can't be all these women coming back to the same word, harassment. Coming back to the same stuff, stalking. Going too far. Doxing. Yeah. He thought he doxed me. He said, oh, any process servers in Nevada? Like I was going to be like, oh my God. Oh my God, he knows where I am. Oh my God. Ah! No. <laughs> no. 
so I um he said he was going to be sending some correspondence. I have not received the correspondence. You cannot sue me over an opinion. You can't sue me over using your photos when you're live on national TV because you can't pay your rent. That's not making up stuff. That's not defamation. You're on TV. That's not defamation when you're on, you're literally on TV for not paying rent. How is that defamation? How is somebody lying on you? So I'm starting to think that there is a machine. Yeah. Don't get me wrong now. That doesn't mean I'm teaming with Tasha or I agree with what she does or anything like that. I don't, I don't give a damn what she do. And I'm sure she probably don't give a damn what I think about what she do. Just like I don't give a damn about what y'all think about what I do or say. Because I'm still going to do me. Just like I'm pretty sure she's still going to do her. But now I'm looking at this machine. It's not so imaginary like they trying to make it seem. Now, I know a lot of people dislike Tasha K. So it's going to blur your common sense and blur your critical thinking. But I'm the type of person, I always said this to my, my subscribers, that I don't join with people just because they dislike a person. That's not how I make friends. My connections are genuine. It's off of likes. It's off of interest. It's not off of dislikes. I don't make friends off of dislikes. I'm not with that energy. Keep that energy over there. Keep that dead energy over there. That's not what I'm about. And that's why I'm a big threat. And that's why they're mad. And that's why they're trying to stop me. But they can't stop me. So I'm going to continue to report on the news. No one's going to silence me. No one's going to intimidate me. No one's going to do a goddamn thing to me. And um, I want you guys to start thinking about this. I want you to critically think, formulate your own opinions, and do your own research. Okay? Um, but yeah, I'm starting to see his dark side definitely come out. And it's definitely weirdo vibes. Like, you're 50-something years old. You don't know me. You know what I'm saying? Um, you need to be speaking with a man. You need to be addressing a man. That's what you need to be doing. Not putting my picture. Are you not my fucking father? You feel me? You're not my dad. Period. So if you want to start putting pictures on Twitter and pictures, I can definitely start doing that. And let everybody know how, how petty your 50-year-old self really is. Everything is alleged and in my own goddamn opinion. Read the disclaimers below. I'm tired of keep explaining this to people. I, it's not my fault you can't read. Start reading something. Read the disclaimers, okay? It's in my opinion and all is alleged unless proven otherwise. Read, read, read. Start goddamn reading, please. I'm so sick of these trolls just coming, popping on somewhere and talking. Read the goddamn disclaimers. Read a book. Read, read, read. The, 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 the cat jumped over the moon. Read something, please. Goddamn, some of y'all are just really ignorant. Not my code game, but just some people are just so goddamn ignorant. It's pathetic. Read the disclaimers. All is alleged. All is for entertainment purposes. All is in my own goddamn opinion. People begin on my nerves, yo. But I was built for this. Um. So I'm going to get into some more um, tea and drama. A lot will be on my Patreon. Uh, Tales from the Coat 777 on Patreon. So if you guys want to go ahead and get some more exclusive commentary and content, then go ahead and join my Patreon, okay? The tea will be in the Coat Classic tier, all right? You could join the basic, but that's, you ain't going to get no receipts. That's just the basic. We, we chat, we chop it up, we, that's it. But you join the Coat Classics, I'm slapping them receipts. I'm putting them trolls and I'm letting y'all know what the hell going on uncut and uncensored. Um, besides that, I definitely want to review this last, this booster shot I just got because that, I don't know what the hell, like, I don't know. Something, something was up. I'm just going to say that. I'm going to get into more detail on my Patreon. I'm going to have to, I'm making up a schedule for you guys. Okay. I have. 
multiple accounts on Instagram, multiple accounts on YouTube. It's just me, no team. Um, so bear with me. I have new videos on my backup channel. I'm cutting up these interviews. I still got some more to go. So make sure you subscribe to my backup channel as well. All of my information is right under this video in that description box. Okay, contact me if you have any more receipts. Tales from the Colt 777 at gmail.com. My website is tftcofficial.com. Twitter is tftcofficial. That's my only Twitter. All right, if you don't see my brand, it ain't me. Um, besides that, you guys, thank you so much for your support. Thank you for listening tonight. And um, please just re be respectful in the comment section. I don't want to have to block every single person, but I'm not going to sit up here and argue with you on my channel. Start your own channel and, and put what you want to say. If you got so much to say, do not put all that in my comment section. Start your own channel. Grow your own audience. Let's see how, how you do it since you got so much to say about me. Let's see how you do it. Let's see you get your channels monetized. Let's see you get your uh, four channels and get them all monetized. Let's, let's see how you build your brand. What's your name? Who, what do you call yourself? Why y'all all want to have something to say about me and what I do. You're not even on my goddamn level yet. So put some respect in the comment section or you will be blocked. Period, point blank. Um, besides that, I'm going to address everything else on another day. But I just wanted to bring this to y'all attention. It is definitely something weird. It's something off with him, in my opinion. And I feel like all these women coming out, it might be a survivor, Dennis Byron soon. Big facts. So if you have any experiences with Dennis Byron or any of his affiliates, make sure you email me at tells from the coat 777 at gmail.com. Tells from the coat 777 at gmail.com. Now I'm starting to think it's a goddamn machine. <laughs> now I'm starting to think it's a machine. So with that being said, you guys, I'm going to go. Like I said, this video was not even planned. I just needed to come on here and say that. Um, and yeah, that's all I have to say, man. Nobody's stopping me. Nobody's intimidating me. You could do what the hell you want to do. I'm still going to do me. Get that through your head. You don't control nothing that I do. You don't control my emotions. You don't control my actions and you damn sure don't control my money. I get money on and off YouTube. I actually have a job, bitch. I got a life, ho. Get you some. Now, with that being said, have a great night, everybody. God bless, and I will see y'all soon.